Hi, I'm doing a quick video on the 2008 Kia Sportage turbo diesel um, of where the crank shaft sensor goes. That's what the crank shaft sensor looks like. I've taken this one off, it's got three pins and that's what the end of it looks like. It's held on there by a 10 mil nut. I'll show you the little 10 mil nut. That's what it looks like. And I'm using a quarter drive ratchet with a 10 mil socket on the end, six sided. And it actually goes down here. What I've done, I've taken the air box out of here. That's quite easy. Everything seems to be 10 mil. So a couple of 10 mil bolts, air box comes out. I've taken the turbo pipe bolt off there. And there's one also down there because this is a hard pipe and this is right where your hand has to go at least I can just push it out of the way I was going to pull it up this way out of the way but it hits on this little sensor unless you want to take all that sensor out you could probably pull that pipe out of the way but anyway I've pushed it down and that's where it goes down there and you can just about get your hand down there you've got to do it blind because you can't see where it's going but it's, it goes into the back of the block um, the little wire, with it, the other end of the sensor goes there, and that is located just under, there's a plastic um, cover here over the wiring loom, and it goes just underneath there, it just clips into a little clip. Um, so yeah, that's where it is, tucked down the back, down there. You can just about get your hand down there once you push this pipe out of the way. Um, I hope that helps you. Um, I never had no one to show me where it was. And when I went on YouTube, nobody had put anything on there exactly where it is. But, uh, the only one I saw, it said it was down by the start. But it's definitely not on this. It's down by the back of the engine. Goes in the back. Couldn't, probably couldn't have been in a more awkward place. But anyway, that's where it is. Um, I hope this helps. Cheers. Bye.